Would you? Jesus. If you were assured, Minecraft came out every week, just like it always does. Sometimes things to do, always oh. let's play, right? You never have to do... <laughs> Good lord, man. You, However, like, every day shirt? when it's time to do a build, like once a week when it would be the associative time to build, yeah. Michael gets to fart in your mouth. Uh, I would, I would do it probably. Yeah, I mean, I almost threw up just then, but Jesus. you know, what's throwing up? Nothing, right? All right, the other one was People gonna be, up. uh, the original one was gonna be when it's the same same scenario, but when it's time, uh, like when it'd be time for me to build, you know, and you get out of it, your penance would be. You get a fist jammed up your anus. Well, I wouldn't do that for forty-five seconds. Well, I might, well no, because that's stretching out my anus for good. Just so I have to build in Minecraft. So there, there is a limit. Would my anus return to its previous size? Well, if you could do like butt kegels, <laughs> right? <laughs> Does that exist? I'm sure. All right. What if instead of the anus, what if you just had to get? And that's a dude. This guy's a complete stranger. You don't know him at all. And you'll never see him outside of this instance. But once a week when it's time to build, ben? this strange... Str he's like a normal guy, but you don't know him. He's a stranger. Shows up, and he, you, he, he just puts the tip of his penis on your lips for 10 seconds, holds it, and then you don't have to build in Minecraft. It's a pretty fair deal. Doesn't stretch anything out. Uh, There's no jizz involved. But the memories linger, Jeff. But you don't have to build uh, Storm the Tower or Left 4 Dead or uh, Ice Cube. I don't think I would do that. There we go. Wow, you really like Minecraft. Uh, I just don't want just stuff on my stuff. <laughs> Alright, how about this? Alright. You get a million, <laughs> a million bucks a year. Okay. But once a week, a guy... Just comes into your house. It doesn't matter what you're doing, and it yeah. doesn't matter, you know, whatever time. It's a he determines the it's time. It's any indetermined time throughout the week. He'll just stroll in, and you all of a sudden will not have a penis. You will have a vagina, <laughs> and he will have sex with you for five minutes, like a uh, with your vagina, like a switch then, up, and then he'll leave. How how what's this guy packing? Uh, six inches. Yeah, are you gonna be sore in the morning or? I can. No, because his vagina would disappear as soon as the act is done. You know, I gotta admit, it would be interesting to know what it's like to get banged. Might be interesting the first time, but then you've got a different dude coming in your house every day and putting it in you. <laughs> oh, it's a different you? dude every day? I mean, it's a, you know, it's a jackpot. Well, if I wanted to live like Ray's mom, I... <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. What if, Gavin... Yeah. You had all the money in the world. Okay. Congratulations. Th uh, thanks. It's exciting. <coughs> You've got all the money in the world, and you get it through a magic ATM card check. Well, ATM card that you never lose. It's always in your wallet. Even if you I try it. and lose it. Even if you try to lose Even it, it always I comes throw it at you. It's bound to you, <laughs> right? But the only way to get money uh, your, of your billions of wealth, the only way to get money is to slide the ATM card across your butthole like in a <laughs> rap video. <laughs> and then however much money you want to take out comes out of your butt. But depending on how clean you are that day, it could be an issue. Like, you might have to go to the bathroom and do some, some like, you might have dirty money. <laughs> but you've got all the... Wouldn't just like, the first bill be dirt? You could be, you've dirty. got, like, a fucking... Like, you want to go buy a, a Bentley. You could just go buy a Bentley. But you're just going to have to sit there and... S <laughs> there's an $800 daily limit. Uh, or, no, per per use limit. And I'll say 1000 So, so every you can time, only get $1,000 at, at a time. So I poop 1000 then I swipe again and get another 1000 yeah. So wait, am I pooping? What's the denominations that I'm pooping? Hundreds. Hundred. Okay, I'm pooping hundreds. Yeah. You're pooping. Is uh, it dirty money too? Like full of shit? I it assume? could be. It could, it could so be totally wait. clean. It could be. How much is a an Aston Martin? Probably like a hundred thousand, right? Uh, so I'd have to yeah, hundred and fifty thousand US. Okay, one hundred fifty thousand. So like one hundred and fifty swipes. Uh, ooh. <laughs> no. It's like you're punishing no, no, no. him. That's two hundred swipes. Five hundred swipes, isn't it? Is it fifteen hundred swipes? Well, a you thousand said it times was a thousand. Well, there's no thousand dollar bill, is there? No, Wait. but you get a thousand dollars out. You get ten one hundred dollar bills out of your butt. <laughs> ten one hundred dollar bills out of my butt. Oh, you're right. Are you right? <laughs> <laughs> Math is hard. All right. Well, well no. All we're doing is dividing one hundred fifty thousand by a hundred. Yeah. That's over a thousand. No. No. Why by a hundred? Because uh, they're hundred dollar bills. Yeah, but you get ten at a time. I keep forgetting that. Even though you just said it, I instantly just discarded that information. That makes sense then. Let's go. So I'd swipe. Sleep it up. 
I'd swipe a hundred times and poop get a hundred grand. A thousand times. No, you. They would come. It would, would it come, come out, out like in succession. Poo. Well, no, you like it would come out just like it does in an ATM machine. You'd be like, <laughs> oh, I figured it'd be like a magic trick, like you're pulling something out of his ass quickly, like a giant mm. scarf. Nah, that would be. It wouldn't be like. Well, a scarf I mean, they're not connected. I don't know what the the downside to this perk is. <laughs> so, so you do it. Oh, uh, cool. I mean, who would do that? Gavin yeah. gets pleasure and money. Would you do that, Lindsay? Uh, probably For not. Shit wait, wait, wait. You get free know. money, but nah. it just comes out of your ass. I don't want things coming out of my ass that aren't but supposed to be. Paper. I mean, everyone's a <laughs> paper in their ass. It's probably the, have you had paper in your ass? Really? I mean, toilet paper is the How one. How do you wipe? <laughs> <laughs> That's good okay, one. Jeff, you get a hundred thousand dollars a year. Thanks, man. Additional salary. Um, but every morning you wake up and your arm is dead. And like you, I slept on it wrong. Yeah, and it's completely paralyzed from the shoulder down. And okay. the Only way to undeaden it for that day is to touch a dude's dick. Only way to undeaden it is to touch a dick. Yeah. You right now, How do I touch it? Like, am I like, am you I just to like, put your hand down into his pants? And touch can I just like poke it? Uh, or yeah, do I or have like, to like? Well, your arm's you, dead. Can't you just like slap it? Like your arm's it? like it's floppy, so you just have to like kind of smear your hand. Probably like, ugh, ugh, like swing yeah, it, it over. It has to be his actual penis and not just his crotch. Oh, well, yeah, so of you, course. You have to talk a guy. How much money do I get for that? Hundred grand a year extra. Fuck, I'd I'd put my fucking dead hand up his anus for hundred grand a year. No, you wouldn't. Every single day. Wouldn't feel it. You have to do this every day. Yeah, okay. And it's going to be a different dude every day. You know what? It might be weird after, for the first two or three days, but after day 50, I'm getting 100 grand and I'm just touching random dicks. It's going to be the most yeah. natural thing in the world. You do that for two or three <clears throat> days. Maybe a week. Maybe a week. It, it'd be weird until be a week. Twice, but after yeah, that. but it, it can't be the same dude that year. I don't, yeah, but a dick's I don't care. A dick, Gavin. Yeah, a but dick is how a dick. are you going to convince a 365 different dudes to let you touch oh, their cock? Oh, I have to convince them. Well, you can't. There's not just uh, going to be a dude letting you touch his knob. Oh, see, I thought, oh, see, that, I thought was that was part of it. Too. It was just like they had signed up somehow. No, I mean, obviously, they you can like, use oh, your yes. you can <laughs> use your friends and family the first. <laughs> friends and family. So I have to touch 365 different dicks, yeah. but part of it is me convincing. I, I imagine you have. Well, what if I just can't find anybody that'll agree to let me do it? I imagine you have to, you have a dead arm all day. I imagine. What if it's like oh. community service for convicts? I can also just get used to only having one arm for a year. Yeah, and if you really need two arms that day, you just go and meet a dude and say, "Hey, dude, I really need to touch your your knob." Yeah, I could do that. Knob and your knob, please. <laughs> <laughs> but you would, um, yeah, I would do you that. Would have to Why? Commit them. So obviously, you have probably like what fifteen friends. You could use them. Oh, mm, half of them are girls. Can, that's so like 15? seven dudes. Yeah, probably wow. two of which would let you touch Still their knob. Short there. So it'd be a, it'd be pretty hard. On the day I'd you probably just have to pay a little bit. I'd be like, let me come on, let me touch your dick, and then be like, okay, but I need, I get like, give me five hundred bucks. Hmm. I'd probably dwindle. So you'd be spending. Probably be spending more than you'd make at some point, right? <laughs> Mate, it's. I mean, that's that definitely. There's definitely a potential for that to be the case. I just realized I'm not building. I'm yeah, just you're just the running. Edge I was watching. I'm like, what are, are you, you doing, doing that again? I yeah, you that last I time. <laughs> I couldn't do two. I at thought once. you were like checking the perimeter. I'm either building belts. or I'm uh, talking about knobs. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Yes, sir. This is a question for you. Uh huh. If you could pay ten grand, uh huh, and history is rewritten, okay, to say so that, that I'm you, the winner, to say that you wrote "Come on, Eileen," uh huh, but that's literally all all you had. You Dexies had the credit of writing that song. What? My only claim to fame would be writing "Come on, Eileen." By that would be one of them. You wouldn't have received any of the money. You still remember their name though, don't you? But you would be in the credits as the guy in history who wrote "Come on, Eileen." Would you pay it? No. Really? Which, which song would, would you I choose? Get it? What would I get for that? You you could be like, hey, I wrote "Come on, Eileen." <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. All right. I guess I could. I guess I could. <laughs> no. No. I don't think so. I would. What song would you pick, Jeff? Uh. If you could take credit for any one. That'd be probably some lame Clash song or something. Well, uh. Hey, watch your fucking mouth, first of all. Yeah, and second, uh, I would probably pick uh something a little more classic, like uh. Beethoven. Like milkshake. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> would you <laughs> rather? It's building the suspense. Is that level? No. Be a cartoon with a human penis, or a pe a, a penis human, with a, human with a cartoon, cartoon. penis. Uh, it, the cartoon penis works. Ah, I don't know. I would Do assume they? it would work better because you could like stretch and stuff. That's yeah, true. I mean, you, you might crazy you get, things. You get wacky with it. <laughs> you like Literally. Roger Rabbit. Do you think that's why Jessica Rabbit was with him? No, it's because of his sense of humor. Yeah. Would you? Would he makes you? Her laugh. 
if cartoons existed, like all of a sudden tomorrow, like Roger Rabbit, would you bang a cartoon? Yep. I would immediately go to Christopher Lloyd's house and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> You probably wouldn't have to. You could just wait a few days and he would die. He's pretty old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's pretty old. All right, Gavin, you get $100,000. The only stipulation is you are not allowed to bathe for an entire year. I've, I've heard that's not actually that bad after a certain amount of time. Like, not showering for a month is the same as not showering for a year. I would have to disagree. You're like, still picking up more stuff around you. Yeah, but it's also you lo- you're like shedding dirt. stuff. And also yeah, skin. your That's hair true. starts like oiling itself to the point where you don't need to wash it. So you do it. Would I do that for 100 grand? Yeah. Uh, could I pick which year or would it have to be like I'd have to do it now? It would it would I mean yeah, you could you'd have a you could pick within a month. Oh. Uh your hair gets no, so I, oily, I would you don't I would do that. Wash it? What would you do it for? Million, fifty grand, million, Probably a million, million quid, million million million. Because I mean, I don't. I mean, you're gonna have to be the one sat next to me every damn day in the car. Sure. <coughs> that's true. How long have you gone without taking a bath or shower? Two days. Two. That's it. Yeah. I can oh. tell you how long I've gone. Yeah. Do it. When I was in the army and I was, uh, I got deployed to Panama. We were literally staying in the jungle on the Panama Canal. And there were no facilities, and I didn't take a shower for 14 days. Damn, son. It, and uh, it was 100% humidity, and I was gross. Could you, uh, did you end up just stop <coughs> smelling yourself? Or do you Ev- you yeah, eventually you lose all sight of it. Well, another thing that was interesting about that trip, too, was uh, all the food rations they sent us spoiled, so we didn't have food for two days. That sucks. Yeah, sweet army, right? Jesus. And uh, so then sweet when I left army. Panama, they I had to get back to America to do some other army stuff, so they put me <laughs> on a civilian flight out, and they took me to the, sh- the PX to buy civilian clothes because I couldn't travel around the city in BDUs because people would want to kill me. Yeah, yeah. So I put on this brand new civilian clothes and I remember th- they just stuck to me because there's like a film all over me. Oh, Chris. And then I got on the plane. What film was it? Who was in it? <laughs> Hell yeah. And uh, it was a... <laughs> I believe it was Kevin Klein. Uh, and uh, French Kiss. And uh, so I... Uh, I, nah, I just... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. In and out. Uh, in French case, it was a it was a double header. Uh, within 15 minutes of the plane taking off, the entire plane moved to the right side because I was on the left. At, to the point where they had to come and make people move back over because it put the plane out of balance. <laughs> and but nobody sat within four rows of me. Sorry, Jeff. In either direction. Oh, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> you had a I was happy to be leaving to bad. a fucking shitty fucking jungle where I got bit by 10,000 mosquitoes a night and monkeys stole all our food. All right, you get a hundred grand. Thanks. But your knob has a hinge. Okay. And if you don't have a full-on boner, it bends in half. Huh? What is, what's wrong with that? So, wh- what do you mean it bends in half? Well, there's a hinge on it. Okay. And? What about what? it? What about my hinge? Okay, great. Cool stories. Thanks, Kevin. Hundred grand, but my dick has a hinge. Yeah. Uh does the hinge work well? Looks fine. Does it creep? But you know like after you've jizzed. I do know after. And I've you have that kind of grace period where you can still, you know. Yeah. That wouldn't happen. You, your dick would immediately open its hinge and split in half. Oh. Like a transformer? No. Yeah, yeah, I don't see the problem with this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's a very good would you rather. Yeah, it's not my best. I'm sorry. It's okay. How about this? You get $100,000. But... Your penis is like an attachment. So anytime you want to use it, you have to take it out of, like, a bag <laughs> and a, a, equip it. <laughs> Why would I keep it in a bag? Or else are you going to keep it? You don't want to lose it. <laughs> can I keep it in... You know you can get those, like, money, those coin tubes that you wear around your neck? Yeah. Can I keep it in one of those? If you want to. Yeah. 
$100,000, but you have to attach your, your penis every time you want to pee or have sex or just look at it or whatever you do. I feel like Jamie Lannister with his hand. I feel like Johnny Lannister. <laughs> you know how stopping to put on a Johnny is the most annoying thing ever? Not it really. would be like that. What do you mean, not really? It doesn't bother me. No? No. Totally kills it. Really? Totally kills the momentum. <laughs> you have no momentum. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Gavin. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, How? stopping to screw on your penis because, like, you, you're gonna be fooling around, and she's gonna reach down there, and there's gonna be nothing. And you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, "All right, sorry, love, hold on a sec. Let me just get my knob out of my necklace and pop it on." How many? Right hassle. I just think it would suck uh, if you had to go to the bathroom real bad and you were like fumbling around trying to attach it, and then just pee just starts falling out of your where out of your attachment hole. <laughs> Yeah, you like drive your keys. Honestly, I rolls don't... under the sofa, and you're trying to get under there. Honestly, I don't think I'd screw my knob on for piss. I would just sit down and piss through the hole where it was. <laughs> I sit, I piss and sit down a lot. No, it's a, it's like a flange type thing, where you it, the pressure inserted pushes it in, which allows you to pee. So you can't pee without it. You, it, well, eventually, yeah, but you could like if you wait too long, you'll explode and like blow a gasket, and then it's like trip to the. <laughs> Like the dick It's mechanic. like a busted valve. Where yeah, it just flaps it's not open. good, and it's probably expensive to fix. I'm probably fairly painful. Well, in that case, I'd keep my knob in the bathroom. Why wear it on me the whole time? I'll just keep it in the keep it by the bog. <laughs> Can I have multiple knobs, or does I just have to keep the same one? You only got one, man. You got like a party knob. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sex knob. I got a black knob if she's into it. <laughs> How about this? That'd be bad if it pointed downwards. How about this, Kevin? Yeah. You get a chauffeur. I've d I'm doing that thing where I'm just jumping and walking around. Itself, I've noticed. <laughs> you, help me put maps in this thing and okay. we'll be done. You get a chauffeur for the rest of your life. And in addition to that, it's a... What's your favorite kind of car? Aston Martin. It's yeah. an Aston Martin. You get driven around whenever you want by your chauffeur, right? How did that happen? But the chauffeur is a tattletale. Right. And he tells your mom everything you do. <laughs> How does he know? Because he's driving you around. All right, well, I'd just be quiet when I'm in the car. You'd I? have to remember to be quiet, now wouldn't you? <laughs> How much do you do talk when you're in a car anyway? If you've been driven around on your own, it's like being in a cab. Do you ever talk to the cab driver? Sometimes they talk to you. Nah. I what if you're, you, but you're having a conversation like with Michael or something in the back, and you're a little drunk, or you, know, you get stupid when you're drunk and forgetful. And then the cab driver's like, or the taxi, the, you know, the fucking, Limo driver. I'm trying to think of the car, the Aston Martin driver fucking drops you off at home and you're like, that'll be all tonight, Jeeves. And he's like, very good, sir. And then he calls up your mom and he's like, Gavin went to a bar and got so drunk, he shit his pants tonight. <laughs> <coughs> and he said, <coughs> yeah, and he swore. Uh, I would, I'd let it happen, probably. Yeah. And I'd be like, but, you know, you can ride a Aston Martin. No, I'd tell my mum that. And I'd be oh, like, yeah. she's not going to... Yeah, but except that she'd be like, uh, Gavin, I don't want to sit in the back seat of your Aston Martin because of uh, things I heard about. <laughs> it doesn't sound sanitary. I'm uh, going okay. to tarnish a bloody nice Aston Martin with semen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Don't follow that after Michael and Gavin were riding in the back. <laughs> you and Michael are in the back. You tarnish it with semen. Also... <laughs> I'd get in the back of my ass and mine. I'd you screw would tarnish, on my knob. You would tarnish anything with semen. <laughs> what about the poor... Driving knob. What about the poor women that you... It'd be like a knob with a leather glove you, on it. tarnish them. For speed. <laughs> it, would, it would have a racing stripe. Yeah. What would you do if, if it was your situation? And uh, every time you were in your car driving around, I called up your mum and told you what you'd been doing. Uh, I'd probably do it. I'm... My mom listened to the fucking podcast for two years. I don't think there's much left for her to hear. I'm not. I love. I love my mom, and I have a great relationship with her. And I'm not scared of her like you're scared of your mom. I'm not scared. Yeah, you are. I ain't scared. You are fucking terrified. Has his name on it. Uh, it does. It already has his name on it. <laughs> God damn, Gavin, that's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs>
It's the perfect size as well. <laughs> He's gonna fucking kill you. What if you? All right, you get a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> but every time you pee, your pee is solid, like the consistency of spaghetti, like that girl I told you that story about. Uh, and you have to, so you have to like every time it's time to go to the bathroom, you have to pull spaghetti string out of your dick until you're done urinating. It could take a while if you think about how much you pee. Yeah. Like a big bladder full of spaghetti, basically. Yeah, a bladder full of spaghetti. Could I just t- tug the end and it will all come out, though? You gotta stick with it. Is it gonna be like a magician's handkerchief? <laughs> no, it doesn't. I mean, it goes till you're done. Okay. And for 100 grand? Yeah. Wouldn't do it. No? No, nah, I would. I, it, just having to explain that to girls and how I'm, I've got spaghetti in my dick. <laughs> like, you know how sometimes <laughs> after you shake. You get like a little dribble of urine. Yeah. If there's a little tiny piece of spaghetti poking out the tip <laughs> of my urethra, I don't want to have to explain that. That is kind of weird. Uh. <laughs> the upside is that my underwear also, will be if you dry. Ever got really, you, you're like too drunk and you fucking pee your pants. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a b- bowl of spaghetti in your underwear. I might actually just keep <laughs> keep a jar of bolognese sauce just in case, just in case of an emergency. That is true. You could, I mean, Pissing that, in public would be pretty weird. It'd be like silly string. It would be delicious. What would you do if you were just given a vagina for the next hour? What wouldn't I do? Would you stop doing this? Yeah, I'd probably go investigate. No, I think Minecraft would still be the most important thing <laughs> in my world if I suddenly spawned a vagina. I would just start s- sticking everything in it. Are we talking about like at a normal place, or is it going to be on your arm? No, yeah, no, yeah. it's going to be if it's just the vagina forehead. Place. Yeah, I'll just temporarily for an hour re- replace your penis. What you would be the, the sensation that announced that you suddenly had a vagina? Probably the con- distinct lack of penis you would all of a sudden feel. Oh, so the, the penis goes with it. It disappear. Yeah. It invert. Yeah. Yeah, you I think just, you'd notice that. You'd all of a sudden just not have a package. You'd just be amazingly comfortable sitting in every position. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so first, would you rather of the new year? Okay. Go. Um, (laughs) You get $100,000. All right, I'll take it. But you have to start from January 1st, 2012 is your starting point. You basically, you've gone back in time. You still have all your knowledge of the last two years, but Sweet. you have to relive the last two years. Should we what, seal, sealing this in, probably? I'm sorry, so I, have to, I get $100,000, Yeah, but I have to relive the last two years of my life? Yeah, you basically, it becomes January 1st, 2012. Oh. So I get to go back and past, in the past with all the knowledge that I have now. Yeah, but you just have to relive like, everything that happened. Can I change the way I lived? Can I like invest in, like Jack said, Bitcoin? Uh, do you think you learned a lot enough in the last two years to make money off of it? Yeah, definitely. What would you do? Bet on Tottenham Hotspurs coach to get fired? Um, well, I probably wouldn't remember the exact moment that that happened. Probably not helpful. How would I make money? Hmm. It's a question. Oh, I'd write a song called uh, "What Does the Fox Say." <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, I'd probably do it, man, because I'd get two more years of life. That'd be awesome. No, you wouldn't. Oh, I'd still be. Th- I'd you still would be, be my current age. You would secretly be thirty-eight still. Ah, I. And you and every birthday would be a lie from that point. Everyone would be celebrating your thirty-seventh birthday, but you'd be like forty. Uh yeah, that'd be kind of weird. That'd be thirty-nine. Messy. You wouldn't do it. Also, you you'd go back to the point where I hadn't moved here yet. You get so you could oh. try and prevent that if you wanted to. <laughs> How about this? Uh, I you know why I'd probably do it again? I cause I to see my kid at that age again that'd be fun. You know what you'd She'd also have to do that again. I just remembered. Your house would be your old house. Oh, <laughs> you'd have to. You'd I'd have, have to go li- live in the Duval house again for <laughs> yeah. a year. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I don't know. But I but I wouldn't I wouldn't have I wouldn't I'd still be able to drink. <laughs> <laughs> why? I could go back in time and drink for two no, years. No, you wouldn't. Because you still have your body now. Oh yeah. yeah you would a- every any drinking you did would be just like adding more drink to your drink. Oh yeah, I don't want to add drink to my drink. How about this? You get a hundred thousand dollars a year. No, hundred and eleven thousand dollars a year. 
okay? Tax-free. But you have to get a tattoo on your penis that says, do not use. <laughs> Infected. <laughs> you get to have to tell girls it's a joke. You can tell them whatever you want to. But your penis totally says, do not use. Infected. I think I'll be fine. I, girls rarely look at my penis. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. I, let's get this going. I'll open up a bank account. We'll get the penis tattoo. So, would you, if you had the opportunity for one year to sleep with any girl you wanted to, and we'll just pretend that Griffin's okay with this, um, you can sleep with any famous female that you want, or, or a dude. Do you like do penis? Sure. But Christmas is cancelled for the year, and everyone knows that it's because of you. Like, everyone in the world? Yeah. Even the woman that I'm sleeping with? Is Natalie Portman upset with me while we're making sweet love? No. Um, I mean, you can... She probably thinks it's romantic that I sacrificed yeah. the world's Christmas just for her. All the women think it's great. Um, but everyone in the world knows that they won't be getting a day off from, wo from work. <laughs> would you do it? I probably would do it. <laughs> would you? Yeah. Yeah. Totally How do you would. not do it? Let me ask you a question. Yeah. You can sleep with any human being you want to whenever you want to, right? Yep. How long before you get bored and bang a dude just to see? I don't think it would happen. Honestly. Nobody's ever going to know about it. I don't think I would. I think you would. Do you think I would? Yeah. How much would I have to pay you? Sixteen dollars. For you to get a Tower of Pimps tattooed on you. Oh, there is not enough money in the world to get me to do that. Are so you kidding? For a million dollars you would say no. Uh <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> my resolve is crumbling. A <laughs> million dollars to get a Tower of Pimps tattoo. Where at? Just on your forearm. Oh you, there's no room. Uh it would be <laughs> it'd be on your left bicep where there's a gap. Yeah, I could do that for a million dollars. Would you do it for seven hundred thousand uh, dollars? I could be convinced. <laughs> Would you be embarrassed by it? Yes. <laughs> do you think anyone's actually got the Tower of Pimps tattooed on them? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. No. Yes. I don't know. No. Yes. <laughs> Why am I kidding? Why am I kidding? This is 